seedlings. My favorite one right there, black crim. So you're mixing uh, peat moss with organic compost to get a nice cow manure. You got some cow manure in there too? Yes. Oh my God. And I have um, dirt from underneath the cedars. Which I've... Also, it'll have a little bit of acidity to it, which could be good for the tomatoes. Okay. Get down, uh, get down under there, get down under there and mix the, you know, in with the peat moss. Yeah, all that in the bottom needs to be exactly. So the peat moss on your new seedlings really allows good moisture balance. And also once they start germinating roots, when you water this mixture, it allows the water to flow through, but it, it it holds on to it. It doesn't evaporate really quickly. So should get your seed started really well. I don't know why this makes me so happy doing this. It's so clean and you can just tell that Look, it's just gonna have stuff growing in it, right? Absolutely. Good tomatoes, really good tomatoes coming up through there. No. Okay, so chemicals. that's a good mix. That's a good mixture right there, where you saw where the mm -hmm. it's mixing with the peat moss. Yep. That's how you want that consistency. You don't want it really heavy on the peat side, but you do want a good balance and mix of the peat moss in it. Peat moss is really sterile, so there's nothing in there that's gonna burn your seeds, um, but it is gonna really create that good moisture balance. Okay. Who needs a manicure? <laughs> okay, that's gonna be nice. Okay, and I'm gonna use the rest of that to get some Xenia started. Okay, you wanna sit that back in your contraption. I know y'all don't judge my mess. This is another little project, little pet project I got going. This was a stage that died, but we're not worried about that right now. We focused on, we're focusing on seed seedlings, tomatoes, getting that soil right. Wonderful. Good job. Now, one thing that has been recommended is that you could get the soil nice and wet and moist and yeah, you can or you, you don't have to. We're not gonna do that. The compost that we got already had some moisture in it. We did mix in the peat moss and once we get those seeds in there and we, we press them into the top layer of the soil, we'll just lightly um, put some water on that that should be sufficient and then we'll just keep it watered until those sproutlings uh, come up in another seven to ten days okay wonderful 
So you can see the seeds are really small. We got our soil mixture ready. We're gonna put the seeds in. You can do one individual seed or you can do a couple of seeds just to make sure you get germination in your little pods. And you can always go the thinning route after they have germinated. As you guys know, tomatoes are really easy to grow. And once they do start germinating and putting out their roots, they're really easy to, to separate or divide. Um, you can even break pieces of them off, root them out and, and put them in the ground. So once they're, they're up, they're, they're really easy to manage, grow, propagate and so forth. So we're going to put a couple, maybe one where we can into the pot. Um, Joseph used his finger to make an indentation. Um, you guys do also want to check your zone. We are almost 10 days, well, seven to 10 days into the month of March, which means we're headed towards spring. And according to the almanac, we should be approaching or be at our final free stage uh, in the game. So we're starting these indoors. Once they pop out of the ground, we have a nice little uh, kitchen garden that we will be uh, getting these planted into. Okay. So now that Joseph has gotten our tomato seeds off to a good start, let's use the rest of that soil for some dahlias. So as you can see, we got our dahlias potted up. I just grabbed, picked these up in one of the markets. It had two on there, but you can see there were three. So it's always exciting when you get a little bit extra. So we'll have three plants that we can put out in the garden. Taking advantage of this amazing mixture, I'm going to go ahead and pot up a few other things like zinnias and nasturtiums that we can use in the garden um, as we move into spring. <laughs> exciting to see new sprouts. It took about eight to 10 days, but in another week or two, these will be ready to go out in the garden. Thank you all for watching and we will see you in the next video.